Well, that, um, I'm glad that that's not his official nickname in the cage, Rear Naked Richie. I prefer the Mauler. But that being said, it's like Bruce Lee said, fear not the man who's practiced a thousand moves one time, but the man who's practiced one move a thousand times. And that move for Richie is the Rear Naked Choke. Cupcake's making his way to the cage. High five of the fans as he goes. And some blue suede loafers. Questionable maneuver there, in my opinion, as his style coach. But, you know, no one can be perfect all the time. Absolutely. I'm going to go set this one in stone and make it official. Be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for our second grappling super fight of the evening, featuring a contest between two of Cage Titans' own. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall, he weighed in at 155 pounds. He is representing Triforce. Let's hear it for Rear Naked Richie Santiago! And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall, he weighed in at 159 pounds. He's representing South Shore Sport Fighting. Let's hear it for Johnny Cupcakes Campbell! Our referee for this grappling super fight is Tyler Pimento. They touch up, great show of respect. They both men look eager to get this party started. Looks like they're both gonna have some fun. I think that considering that most of the time they find themselves in an all out fist fight, uh, you know, a grappling match might be a nice change of pace for them. They both look like it's gonna be a good time and not too serious, but they are both competitors and they both are coming out to win. I'm gonna have some fun here. Richie, a decorated wrestler, has been wrestling for as long as I've known him, and then some. Yeah, a little rush in there to start. Mm -hmm. Richie Santiago, of course, coming off a loss to Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series where he had his jaw wired shut. So this is his first competition since that fight where he can't get punched in the face yet, but he could sure oh. go ahead and try and choke someone. Yeah, I mean, against a seasoned grappler like Cupcakes, I think that that is going to prove to be a great competition experience. Oh, Richie is all over those legs, but... In on a single early, but Cupcakes, great balance that we've seen in his MMA career time and time again. takedown defense is inhuman. It's rare to see him get flattened on his back. You can have his leg like all the way behind his ear and he'll just backflip out of it. Who will shoot first? Oh, I'd say Richie has shot first, yeah. but neither was able to really Cupcakes get anything in on a single. Solid there. Cupcakes is in on it. Gets it. Interesting. Cupcakes on top, heavy. Richie elevating him with that butterfly hook. 
scooting his hips out, getting half guard. Knee cut by cuff kicks prevents him from closing that and securing it. Cutting across the body to side control. Oh, Richie, Richie using a great momentum chef. Takes the back almost, but Cupcakes his balance, brings him back to the top. Richie off balances him, ends up in almost a close guard again. Very action packed so far. Great flow. Richie doing a good job with that deep half reversal, and he gets it. Now he's taking the back. Johnny looking for the wizard to prevent that full back take. Almost gets it, and then Richie goes for the throw, ends up on bottom, but he's still got that underhook. Never mind. Johnny flattens him out in full side control talking to Johnny beforehand, he mentioned that he was intent on not letting Richie get behind him because when Richie gets behind people, he chokes them uh, in a rear naked fashion as per his nickname. So far, Campbell successful in doing so. His back was in jeopardy, but he managed to turn towards him, use the wizard effectively, cross-facing Santiago right now, which is thwarting Richie's bumps. One arm of Richie's isolated underneath Johnny's legs. He takes full mount. Richie looking to recover half guard on one hip. About to take Johnny. the back. Johnny cupcakes himself with one hook. Richie recognizing the fight in the wrists. Trying to explode. Good control from cupcakes as Richie's about to post up. Almost gives up the neck. Flat lines, gets underneath. Deep half again into mount. No success this time with the reversal for Rich Santiago. Cupcakes is a very crafty, wily veteran, though he's only a purple belt. He moves um, with <laughs> like someone with much more experience than that. Richie prides himself on being a lifelong white belt. Never put a gi on in his life. Richie with an underhook. Cupcakes looking like he's about to set up an arm bar with the opposite side. Richie recognizes it. Never mind. Johnny gets it back. He's got a full on Kimura grip. Great really job riding the position. Johnny. Great I job. I like how Richie snuck that uh, butterfly hook back in to recover, though. Not a complete loss despite switching positions, but Cupcake circles past. Nice job switching the hips and getting back to side control for Cupcakes Campbell. Richie trying to buck the hips up, make some space. Cupcake's looking to isolate that left arm now. He's got a full Kimura grip, it looks. Never mind, now he uses it to switch. But Richie catches the leg in half guard. Now he's in on a single. Richie trying to turn with that underhook frame up and flare. Cupcake's in on a guillotine with the mount. Richie seems like he's staying calm and composed here, not letting it get too much torque. Exploding out, giving up the back almost. And he escapes out the back door. Nicely done from Santiago, who finds himself on top after a crafty little reversal. Johnny mentioned he does not want to be on bottom against uh, the top pressure of Santiago. It's, Let's it's, see if he can. It's not fun. I'd imagine not. Cupcakes is a very wily, scrambly butterfly guard game, though. If anyone could survive it on bottom of Santiago, it would be Johnny Cupcakes Campbell. Richie trying to figure out a way to pass as he just floats over into side uh, half guard here. Johnny Cupcakes clamping down on him. Great job with the shoulder pressure from Richie. Framing up against the hip is Cupcakes, trying to make some space. Richie cutting the knee through, and he gets the oh, pass to side control. Nicely done, there. right over the mount. Out. That's Richie's signature. Quick pass to side control, slice the knee over, get right to mountain, and then he's going to work to take your back. That's his goal from here. He's going to try and rip it Johnny's face one way, just chin grab him. You <laughs> see him re reaching over there. He's done this to me a thousand and seven times. Oh, Johnny with the dolphin kick. Great job from Johnny Cupcakes Campbell making space against the hips. Richie was starting to really advance into a good position there. Minute 30 left. Johnny with the scissor sweep. Richie Watch. threatening a leg lock here. Briefly threatens the leg attack. Johnny flattens him out. Now back in side control for Johnny Cupcakes Campbell with a minute and a half left to go at the time allotted in the super fight. It's been super scrambly so far. Johnny with the backpack grip. Staying heavy on the legs, Richie rolls, but Johnny remains on top. Got a minute to work! One minute! Here we go! Johnny with the full mount again. 
So this is submission only, am I correct? That is correct. Once it's uh, done, it's a draw. Well, let's see if someone can tear ahead in this last 45 seconds. Johnny looking to isolate an arm, it looks like. Which arm, I don't know. Johnny's definitely oh, that's a great Kimura grip, and he taps. And he taps he with 20 tap. seconds left. That was very well contested. And very exciting. Lots of respect between both of these competitors. Johnny Cupcakes Campbell able to maintain top position for the majority of that super fight and ends up finishing with a top position Kimura. Nicely done from Johnny Cupcakes Campbell. Fantastic to play a display of skill from both gentlemen. Great jiu-jitsu and wrestling shown. And, uh, you know.